Will a finance degree make you rich? Will it guarantee you a life of success? In this video, I will be answering those questions. Hey guys, it's Kayla Buck again with another video. Uh, a lot of you guys ask me if a finance degree will guarantee you success, whether a finance degree will make you rich. Now, those are very loaded questions because nothing in life is guaranteed. Are you more likely to be successful and rich with a finance degree versus many, many other degrees? 100% absolutely. Especially if you pursue a career in high finance. Um, there are very few traditional jobs out there that pay more than um, a job in high finance, especially if you are somebody who makes it past the associate level in a investment banking, private equity, hedge fund, or venture capital job. Um, even if you work in the programming side of finance, you are likely going to be working a job that pays more than almost every other job out there. When you're working in high finance, you are making as much money as top lawyers and top doctors. So finance is definitely a career path that has a lot of money attached to it and what society would consider success. Does your finance degree guarantee that you're going to be successful? No. Does a high GPA guarantee you're going to be successful? No. What's going to guarantee that you are successful is the is your work ethic and how much you're going to put into getting one of these jobs. What actions you need to take within that job and that role that you take. If you don't take a high finance role, richness is definitely not guaranteed. Um, if you take a role and like a, a, a if you take a role like a credit analyst, you work for your local bank, you take a run-of-the-mill financial advisor job, you might have a comfortable life for sure, but it's definitely not a rich life or you won't become necessarily wealthy, uh, especially if you don't invest in your own personal portfolio of whatever you want to invest in. And if you think finance, and if you think a finance degree is going to make you a good investor, I highly recommend that you watch my previous video talking about if a finance degree will make you a good investor. If you're somebody who is so concerned about reaching success and becoming rich, I need to tell you guys that you guys need to be patient. This is not something that is going to happen boom, the day after you graduate with a bachelor's degree in finance or a master's degree in finance or a MBA finance degree. It's going to take years and years of work. And working in finance guarantees that you'll be working a lot of hours in an office. So if you're somebody who is not willing to, if you're not good at being patient and having a delay of reaching those big bonuses and high salaries, then you might want to reconsider your choice of uh, majoring in finance or choosing a career in finance because um, reaching success in finance is definitely a long haul kind of thing. You know, you probably won't feel truly rich before like five years in your career, especially in high finance. Now, if you're somebody in a, I don't wanna call it low finance, but like corporate finance, or you're working for your local bank, or you're a credit analyst, something along those lines, it's definitely going to take longer for you to feel truly, truly comfortable and um, like you have wealth. Now, if you're somebody who comes from nothing, you grew up poor or lower class, when you step foot into basically any of these roles I mentioned, high finance or not, you're gonna feel more comfortable than wherever you came from. And of course that will feel great the first one to three years of your career, but I would tell you not to just choose finance if you want to have a comfortable life. Now that is not something that is dishonorable or anything. I totally understand why people choose finance as a career if they want a more comfortable life. If anything, that's an honorable thing to want because 
um, and especially if you have a significant other or you have kids, you want what is best for your whole entire family. But if you are going to be miserable in the process, then um, it probably won't be worth it for you. For the people aiming for the stars and wanting the best high finance jobs, your degree is not going to guarantee that you get there, okay? It's going to take not only a finance degree or something along the lines of a computer engineering, computer software degree, or some other highly competent degree. It's not only going to take a high GPA, while that very much plays a part in whether or not you get those kinds of jobs, it's going to take who do you know? What other traits about you impresses HR people, your future bosses, the gatekeepers into any of these positions? And telling these gatekeepers to these positions that your main goal for these highly competent jobs is that you want to be comfortable, that you want to be rich, that you want to be successful is not a good answer to give to these people. You know, it's not the early 2000s anymore. Um, there's a lot more rules and regulations. You're not going to reach, you know, richness, wealth within the first couple of years of your career anymore. It's just not the early 2000s or the 1990s anymore. Um, there are a lot more rules set in place, so there isn't as much corruption anymore or ways to take advantage, okay? Um, you have to be very, very determined to be successful in any area of finance. You need to be willing to put the 80, 100 hour weeks in. You need to be willing to continuously make yourself a better individual, not only personally, but as a professional. You need to be dedicated to your team that you're working with. You need to be, you know, you need to be dedicated to getting along with your bosses, uh, you know, and, and everything that comes along with that. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say there. You need to be willing to play the game of climbing a ladder in whatever role that you're in. And a lot of people while they're in college, they think that they'll do whatever it takes to reach that MD position or whatever else and they get there, whether they're an analyst or they work in another area of finance, and they're in the grind and they think whether or not this is really worth it to them to go through because it is a mental grind, it is a physical grind, it is tough on your soul at times, you know, it's, it's not easy. And a lot of the things that people want in life are not easy. You know, people who want to be a doctor, they go through a lot. People who want to be a top, top lawyer, they have to go through a lot. People who want to be top finance professionals, they have to go through a lot. And you just need to think to yourself whether or not it's right for you. So is a finance degree going to guarantee you success? No. Is it going to give you a key to help you reach some kind of level of success? Absolutely, yes. Is it going to make you rich? No, you are going to have to make yourself rich. Uh, you're going to have to, it's really going to be your work ethic and your grit and your grind that's going to make you rich, not what you learn at a university in a uh, finance program. And what people think of success is really going to differ from person to person. Some people think just getting an analyst role is being successful. Some people think you're not going to be successful unless you make MD. You know, some people are not going to feel rich until they make $500,000 a year. Some people are not going to feel, some people are going to feel successful when they get their first $100,000 a year analyst job. So, you know, it really depends on what you want, what you think is success, what you think being rich is. And, you know, a harsh reality is, especially if you live in an area like New York City or other areas of high cost of living, there's been plenty of studies out there, or news stories, uh, you know, if you're a couple and you make $500,000 a year in New York City, you still feel very middle class. That $500,000 a year does not last long when all the expenses of living in a city add up and you know looking a certain way being able to act a certain way to be accepted in um social groups like it 
adds up. There's times when you could live in the middle of nowhere, Georgia, and you're working a blue collar job and you're after all expenses, you're bringing home more as that blue collar person in Georgia than that white collar person in New York City. So, you know, you need to think about who you are, what you enjoy, versus just having this dream that a finance degree is going to make you rich and successful. And if that's the only things you care about in life, you should probably um, reconsider things in your life and try to make smarter choices for yourself versus just um, believing in these dreams and hopes. Go and speak to people in various finance roles that you could see yourself being interested in the future. You know, find a mentor in that field um, and try and see the reality of things versus having just these hopes and dreams that a certain career is going to uh, make you happy, make you rich, or make you successful. So I hope you guys enjoyed me answering this question. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future content. If you have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them down below. I will get back to you. And until next time, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you around in another one of my videos. Bye!